Now at first, the idea was great. The current roster that you get with this game is very solid. The team ups idea are overall really well thought out. The only problem is, everyone does the same goddamn damage. The damage system is equal for everyone, so you may have a strong grappler type character like Zangief, but it's all rendered useless because he's gonna pull the same damage as Sakura. At the same time, co-op idea? Great material. Your online co-op, having me and my best friends team up online to fight other people Mortal Kombat style, well thought out. But at the same time, lacking in personality. I mean, all the tag teams are quite generic. Ryu and Ken, uh, having Steve Fox with Haorang, uh, the tag teams are quite generic. They don't seem to have t personalities. Um, a thing that could have added personality is adding the Tekken Tag 1 style introductions uh, when it comes to intro, as if if the tag team doesn't like each other, then they're just going to stare at them or stare at each other blankly and hate each other. Um, another example would be having introductions like King of Fighters, where there are special intro animation depending on who's fighting who or who's with who. That would add a spice of personality to your team-up feature, but so far, it all feels like just generic tag team, I'm with you, and, you know, we're gonna have our separate intro, but we're not really fighting as a team. Except when you're talking about Zangief and Rufus. That was a funny, cheesy intro. Uh, at the same time, I gotta add up... You guys have some interesting intro and ending when it comes to Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Um, the introduction artwork, very similar to Tekken 5, and I think it was there in Tekken 4. And the CG ending, which is another staple of Tekken. This is where you can see the smart look when it comes to... Um, taking what's from Tekken and how can I implement it into this crossover game. Very well thought out. I just wish there were more personality to it. Um, at the same time, again, going back to the team up and personality, there is a lack of hidden tag teams. And I'm talking about the rival school type of stuff of bad guys bunching up together, even if they're from different franchises, or having King of Fighter style tag team where different tag teams will give you different results and different endings. So that's another thing that could have been used and if uh, the designers weren't so strictly focused on let's try to make it uh, a bit more like Tekken, they would have looked around and seen what worked with other tag team games or interesting stuff that could have worked. Now. Let's go a bit deeper into the presentation, and I have to say, the tag team super moves are completely shit. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to take that back. These tag teams were lackluster. Uh, it's basically, I do my super move, then I pass it off to you, and you do your super move. What kind of shit is that? This is Capcom we're talking about. This is the same studio that had rival schools, which had delicious tag team action seriously it was a very simple script where each tag team moves or double team moves were affected by the second partner so whichever character had um, a tag team move that was choreographed for them and they would bring in the other character to have that team up instead of having my super move i pass it off now you do your super move hell you can even look back at a game like street fighter ex3 it had better team up super moves than this game because every team up super moves were unique and of course it went with specific teams so that one is a bit more of a doozy because you have to be that team but if you look back at rival school they could have tag teamed like that. They could have used the same type of code. Just give a tag team super move um, mechanism to all the characters so that their partner character would be dragged in to the choreographed move. 
Hell, I don't care if I see Sagat doing a Hadouken or if I see Rufus pulling a Hadouken. Stop trying to be serious business. This is a crossover game. Now, I gotta get back to it, but I gotta say, uh, the colors were good. It's really bright, lavish color. It's not trying to be dark and deep. And it just sinks in at the same style. Um, but again, going back to the super move. <laughs> and I know I'm doing a lot of back and forth. Uh, the super moves looked way too similar to Street Fighter 4. Uh, especially for the whole Street Fighter cast. I can see them cutting corners when it comes to the um, supers. They were straight up taken from the Ultras, and there weren't much variations, which is too bad. I mean, there were leeways to add unique moves or unique super moves. Uh, the same goes for the double team, but we already spoke on that. Now, another thing that kind of struck me with the presentation is, what the hell is this title screen video? No intro video? I mean... We all saw the big trailer reveal where Ryu was getting the shit beaten out of him and looked all drunk, but there were no intro video from what I can recall. Eh, somebody posted in the comment if you've seen it, but as soon as I booted the disc, bam, go play this game. Now, when it comes to music, there were some interesting Tekken 2 and Final Fight remixes. I especially commend this remake of the Tekken 2 Heihachi music and the, I think it's there's a bit of Tekken 3 Heihachi music as well for the Mishima Mansion. Wow! Great! Because Tekken composers when it came to Tekken 2 and Tekken 3 had a lot of attitude. Um, and hell, even the Final Fight remixes for the Mad Gear Headquarter, the Rolanto remix, uh, the Abigail Dance remix, good stuff, you know? And I will give an extra Thumbs up when it comes to the mid-boss battle with Jury and Bison. That was a beautiful mix of both themes uh, by just combining it slowly and giving you this eerie dark feeling that you are fighting two of the darkest Street Fighter characters alive. Same goes for the Akuma theme and the Ogre remix. Good work on that. But... Um, when it comes to the rest of the music, when it's not character oriented, again, the Street Fighter 4 composer is lacking. Lacking badly. It feels like he does not know how fighting music works. He does great remix tracks it, to a certain degree, except, um, a bit of an exception was slowing down the Street Fighter 4 Volcanic team for the rival battle. Terrible decision. It's Volcanic Rim. You speed that shit up. You hype it. You add more rock to it. You do not slow it down. And this is my big issue. I gotta open up this bracket about the SF4 composer. This guy is... His main focus seems to be making slow, dense remixes instead of having actual fighting music that will get you pumped up to fight. I mean, the arcade music sounded like some kind of a bullshit little anime garbage. Hell, uh, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 music sounds even better compared to this, because this was a lot of high-pitched screams, especially when it comes to the half-pipe type of songs, along with slowing down songs. And... It doesn't have that environment, that presence, to get you psyched up for a fight. I mean, I gotta admit, when it comes to other games like Blast Blue and Guilty Gear, they do have their slow song and cheery song, but they are upbeat, and they keep you pumped up for this kind of weird, wacky fight. This just felt like washed-up attempt to do beats, and... I have nothing against the guy personally, but ever since I started listening to his music from Street Fighter 4, where he slowed down most people or most characters' teams, to Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where some of the soundtrack just felt botched, and others, you know, had that hyped, um, to this, where it just feels like he didn't care. He really didn't care at this point. But I think, I do not think this guy is the right... Uh, person to do musics for fighting game. He does not seem to have this fire that other teams had. Hell, even if you look back at Street Fighter versus X-Men, 
or Marvel vs. Capcom 1. They were remixes, but they had uh, passion, they had attitude, they had hype, you know. You weren't slowing down. No, you would just go in there and fight, you know. But you would. the ultimate test is you try to set up these musics into other fighting games and see if you get that much hype, and you don't. You just don't. So, ending bracket on this. Um, now to move on to system-wise, what the fuck was up with that DLC bullshit? I mean, seriously, hidden characters on disc that you were having, you know, you wanted me to pay an extra amount to unlock on the disc? Nah, nah, Capcom. Um, there's been multiple articles and video on this, but Capcom just dropped the ball on this one. And I believe this is what caused, or this is a big factor in what just tanked that game. Um, as well as the gym system rendering a lot of things unbalanced. Um, it was an interesting idea, but they clearly did not think about balance. And it's too bad because to a certain degree, you want um, a bit of balance for a crossover game. But eh, I can't complain too much. Um, at the same time, I do like, and I mean, I do like the representation of the Tekken characters when it comes to the rival cutscenes. Uh, lots of attitude to a certain degree. You can see, you know, they're keeping the Tekken character attitude mixed in with the Street Fighter attitude, uh, which brings up a very interesting crossover situation when you came or when you come to those rival battles. Yet, um, Again, I kind of wish that same kind of attitude would be present in the character introduction or having different kind of team-ups, you know, hidden team-ups. There were nothing really um, hidden when it comes to that game, nothing really surprising when it comes to that game. It just felt like a quick mash. Um, and I can kind of see how they wanted to put a bit of balance by uh, putting all the character into the same damage ratio, but this just felt... A bit lackluster and it's kind of hilarious to see a uh, big characters doing as much damage as a little schoolgirl with high punches so that's about it street fighter cross tekken it had a good idea the only problem is the execution was a bit lackluster and possibly framed into a small set of set of thinking uh, a small track of mind instead of expanding looking at what previous team-ups have done, Tekken Tag Tournament 1, uh, the first Marvel vs. Capcoms, hell, look at King of Fighters, that can count as a team-up, you have Fatal Fury, you have Art of Fighting, and you have a couple of other SNK franchise. So, take these as examples, look, do your research, and try and spark what could cause or create a great team-up scenario. And what would be, let's say, what would be funny, what would be interesting, what would some of these characters see to each other? I mean, an example of that, and it's, a lot of people are shoving it to the side, I can't blame you why, is SVC Chaos. SNK versus Capcom Chaos. Because each character has an interaction with another at the start of a fight, and, you know, sometimes you just want to see what other cheesy quote could happen. And hell, they pulled off very interesting ideas like Violent Ken, who's kind of like Shin Ken or Evil Ken, yet there's a different story you can read in the manga. Um, but yeah, look at other franchises, trying to pick better ideas, and seriously, change composers. You could even go back to the people who did, who composed the music for Third Strike because they knew what kind of fighting musics they wanted to do. Uh, the current composer, he has a few ideas, but he's in another set of mind, which does not really fit when it comes to fighting. And it's too bad. I do not want to bash on the guy. This guy has a lot of talent, but fighting music is not his thing. So... Let's wait and see what's going to happen for Tekken versus Street Fighter because, you know, this is still pending. And I will see you guys next time with another title back for the game design run back.